Welcome to chapter 9 in series 3 and this chapter is all about NPC AI and it's really interesting and also a very big chapter as well. Alright, so the best approach is for me to show it to you in action. So we've got lots of uh, enemy AIs who have ranged attack and also lots of friendlies who are ranged as well. We could also have me melee enemies or a friendly uh, AIs as well. And what's happening here is um, the two groups have detected each other. First of all, our friendlies uh, detected the enemies, so they inform each other. So they um, tell the uh, nearest allies that, hey, I've uh, seen something. And so uh, they all start proceeding towards the target. And when they're in range, they start shooting. And uh, I guess I'll show it to you again once we uh, get through this. Oops, better get out of the crossfire. And, uh, well, pretty much what's happening is they're all just having a good old shootout. <laughs> I think this like uh, uh, 70 or so um, all together in there, enemies and allies. Quite a big uh, firefight. Uh, I'm not really too sure who's winning at the moment. Oh, it looks like um, our guys are winning uh, by just just some amount oh and uh, yep so there's lots of stuff getting dropped we can pick up these rifles and use them um, and they're all in our inventory as well uh, but oops it's really supposed to be about the uh, AI right so what they're doing right now they're going to investigate is there, are there is there anyone left any enemies left no so they won I can show you some other things so let me start that again jump in and I'll show it to you more slowly so we uh, run in Okay, so it's turning yellow. It means these guys have detected. When it turns red, they've got an enemy sighted that they should pursue. So they've detected the enemy and they should pursue. And uh, the one who first saw told all the others within a certain range that, hey, I've seen an enemy. Let's all go and attack that enemy. So, well, investigate. So the others are like, oh, okay, and they're going to go and investigate. And uh, they'll start shooting. And as soon as they shoot this guy, so they shot this guy, He's like, uh, he tells all the, uh, his, um, allies in range that something has shot me and it's coming from here. So now that they're all informed, I've just put these cubes on them to show the state. And the state is, hmm, let's go and investigate the source of harm. So very quickly, it'll become a firefight. Now, uh, if I was a bit quicker, I could use this exploding barrel to distract this group here. So before, I'm not sure if I can be fast enough to do it. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it. My shooting's no good. Yes, I managed to. So there we go. They were, they heard, they could see that something's wrong. As these guys are getting shot, um, they can kind of tell that something's not right. So they're getting informed that uh, something's going on and they should go and investigate. But I went and blew up a barrel instead. And that was the latest thing to cause them distraction. So that group has gone and wandered off and they won't help their buddies. Despite the fact that I guess they can see them. Well, I can give them a longer sight range. <laughs> but there you go. So that was a uh, source of distraction. So the enemies there were distracted. I mean, you could use it so that the player can actually uh, go somewhere without being... Um, uh, without the enemies detecting them. All right, so in this case, our buddies all won. Okay, so let me show you another situation. Okay, so in this situation, there's just one enemy. And I'll just show you that it just takes a little while so the enemy doesn't automatically detect you. So like when they see you, they won't automatically just start shooting. They turn yellow, they'll investigate. And it gives you enough time to try and run away. So when they turn like that, when they've detected you, They'll go and investigate and think, hmm, did I really see something? And they will, once they've confirmed that they've seen you, they will start shooting away like that. And you can run away, um, you can pretty much get out of their range and then they'll continue on to patrolling. So in that way, like you can imagine, if you had a game where there was a bit of stealth involved, for example, you could run past the enemy and, uh, well, if there wasn't such a big distance, they wouldn't start shooting at me. Uh, but uh, I guess that's uh, an example of how the behavior works. And I could also stand behind the barrel and hope that they shoot the barrel and uh, it cause that to blow up. Or will they just instead shoot the player? Anyhow. All right. So well enough of uh, having a look at the actual demo of it. Let's have a look at some of the uh, scripts that we'll be writing. So I've got here, it's, it's a state um, AI system. 
there are nine states and I've got a pattern script. There's also an interface uh, script as well. And uh, basically the behaviors the AIs have are patrol, alert, pursue, follow, flee, struck, so being hit, investigate harm, so if struck, then it calls out to allies and they will investigate uh, the source of that harm and uh, being able to melee attack or range attack. And then there's a whole lot of other scripts that we need as well, so the NPC master and all these other things like health and animations to drive the animations, turning off, you know, if the uh, NPC dies then we need to turn off the animator, nav agent and also this state pattern. And we have the scripts for taking damage, uh, collision feel, all the, the previous sort of, these two, these three are like from before except uh, improved and there's a few other things so for the NPC to drop items like uh, the weapon that they're holding then uh, we need this script and also we have a head look so the NPC will look at its target whatever that is so if it's the player it'll actually turn its head to look at the player and uh, this is for ranged NPCs so that they can hold a weapon if you don't have an animation uh, for holding the weapon. So ideally you really need an animation, a proper one that has the uh, weapon holding as part of it, but if you don't this is just a sort of a hacky script for that. Uh, but it's not finished there. We also have to uh, make some more improvements. Uh, we have to uh, make changes to all of these uh, gun scripts and um, uh, to the item master as well. Uh, you'll see what it's all about. They're pretty simple things, but uh, they enable us to, uh, they enable the AI rather to be able to use the gun. And some of them are also minor bug fixes to uh, get rid of certain bugs that you may or may not have encountered. They're very uh, unusual case ones. And uh, then we have some new scripts to write. So uh, the NPC needs a way to actually use the gun, and that's what the gun NPC input is about. Uh, there's some other ones, item make noise, so you can throw items to distract the enemy, or you can destroy destructible objects to cause a distraction. So those are two new scripts for uh, getting the enemy's attention, or rather diverting their attention. Uh, okay, so we've got a lot to do in this chapter, uh, so I guess we just keep on going ahead and start with the uh, NPC AI side of things first of all.